Hey folks, I'm here this year to show you what to do after you have your six sides cut. Um, so you'll see there's a silver streak metal pencil. You're gonna put your name and your section number on each piece. You need every side, all six with your name and section. You're also gonna do a paper bag with the same thing. So you keep all your pieces and your bag, all your pieces and your bag to hold all six pieces. Each piece is about $3. Um, we are not giving extra pieces to people who lose them, misplace them. Okay, you are responsible for your medal. You cannot lose it. Put your name on the bag, put your name on the piece, Store them in your locker that's locked. Don't leave them around. So the bags are over here. The Sharpie is here. The Silver Streak pencil is here. After you cut your pieces and label them, you're gonna go back to the classroom and you're going to cut out the six sides of your die. Um, a template for where you're gonna drill the holes. So the, the papers are up at the front of the classroom and let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see there's papers up here with each side of the die. Um, you're gonna cut them out with the scissors and you need two pieces of tape for each one. You're gonna take the tape and the paper and you're going to tape the paper to your piece of metal. Just like that. Notice you can still see my name and section number and now I know where I have to drill my hole. You're gonna take your bag and your pieces over back into the shop, to the table. On the table, you're gonna have a ball peen hammer and a center punch. Okay, this is called a ball peen hammer. This is called a center punch. Notice there's like little outlines so you know where to put them when we clean up today. Um, okay. to get it so you can see okay so you're gonna take your piece of metal and with a center punch you're gonna put the center punch where you need to drill the hole so it's like on this die I'm putting the center punch in the middle of the little circle then I'm gonna take my ball peen hammer and I'm gonna give it a good whack Uh, the purpose of that is that now the drill bit will go into that hole and I can take my paper off. Make sure you do all your center punches, bef all your center punches before you take the paper off. Um, and actually, we, it's, we can just drill with the paper on too. Um, but I'm gonna take it off. Make sure you get all your, all your punches done before you take the paper off. Uh, you can give the paper to a friend who, so they don't have to cut their own, or you can um, just throw it away in the paper trash. So I'm taking my metal, leaving the center punch on the outline.
got my bag, and I'm gonna come over to the drill press. you're gonna see the the vise here um, then you're gonna see that there's a piece of wood the piece of wood is sacrificial mean meaning that you want to drill into the wood not into the vice vices are very expensive when you're gonna drill through something you want to put a piece of wood um, underneath it in order uh, so you don't drill into your our nice vice I'm going to tighten up the vise. Um, there's a handle on over here. So notice the vise moves. You're gonna you're gonna need to move it, but I'm tightening up a uh, righty tighty the vise so it's gripping the metal. And I'm gonna line up the drill bit with that center punch. Okay, it looks good. I'm gonna remember four inches away from the bit while it's moving. So now I'm away, I'm wearing my safety goggles. I'm gonna turn on my drill. And I'm just, I just went a tiny little bit into the, um, into the hole. Now I'm giving it a baby, baby um, squirt of cutting oil to help the drill bit work. You don't want to use a lot of cutting oil because while you weld, that cutting oil is going to burn off and it's going to put impurities in your weld. You just want a tiny bit to help the drill bit go. you see some uh, some uh, sawdust come out and I'm gonna open the vise and there you go still got my name my section on it okay folks that's it